professionals this is utkarsh rai and today i am going to talk about four untold truths about salary salary is not an entitlement but reflection of contribution and still we compare with other professionals within and outside the company and set an expectation about our next hire most of the time the expectations are not met leading to frustration and raising four issues so watch my video until the end where i am going to talk about the truths behind such issues and if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel then please do it also watch my other video are you underpaid what determines a salary first issue company pays more to new hires than to existing employees though salary information is confidential sometimes news trickle out and if the compensation of new hire is more it causes an uproar employees do not bother to cross verify the veracity of rumored figure every job level has a range while fixing the salary within the range managers tries to do their best to make it comparable with the existing employees but differences do exist and if the differences are minor which are called within smoke limit then it is tolerable but when it is major it triggers a heart burn truth is in future either the new higher salary difference will even out or company is going to roll out a better hike the higher salary of the person could be due to criticality of project or they are possessing some great skills which will get normalized with the existing employees within a year or two depending upon their performance it could also be a good news that the salary range of the company is shifting due to the market shift and you should expect a better hike in the next cycle and at that time the new hire would not be qualified second issue it is difficult to convince my manager that i am underpaid people tend to set internal expectation about their new hike depending upon their own market intelligence from within and outside the company when the expectations are not met they raise the issue with their manager and expect a correction this makes manager's job difficult because it is a mind game to convince employees that they are getting the right salary truth is this is your current market value as determined by the company the salary is fixed based on multiple parameters market salary survey data against each job level company's budget your performance and your current salary there is a lot of due diligence goes behind fixing someone's salary so unless there is a rare major mistake no correction takes place still you should raise the issue with your managers because manager do have some leeway within that range to give a better salary but they are not going to give it in this cycle and you have to wait for the next cycle and for that you must remind them before the next hike cycle if you still feel you are underpaid then improve your work performance or look outside where you can be compensated well third issue i could have asked for more pay in my job change even after signing the offer letter the feeling of under negotiation for better pay lingers in mind you get more confused when your network share more data and that that confusion you put in your paper and your manager is start dangling carrot which is going to take away sheen from your new job offer some candidates do renegotiate and get something additional but many of them lack the art of negotiation it might leave a bad test in your future manager and in some cases the offers are rescinded on the ground that the candidate is not going to fit in the company culture truth is higher salary means higher expectation to perform fast in the new job hiring managers do give in to arm twisting due to internal compulsion they might place the new hire higher in the salary compared to existing employees the new hire will face an higher expectation to prove fast and they come under pressure and many a times they are not able to meet the higher expectation of their new manager and the relationship is started to take a hit they started to look for a job outside but due to short stay in the new company and a higher pay package they might find it difficult to do it so it is better not to renegotiate but to join perform and reward will follow fourth issue my company is paying well so why to leave there is no better time but to enjoy working in a high paying company but still employees leave best paying company because salary alone cannot guarantee higher employee satisfaction or low attrition rate people are well aware that the currently company has a budget but a few quarters of bad financial result might lead to high freeze salary cut or reduction in workforce 
those who enjoy higher wages might find it difficult to find a job outside truth is focus on skill improvement and even willing to take pay cut if the work outside will provide longevity of career for longevity of career it is better to focus on skill improvement and adaptability with the market shifts rather than salary you should be willing to take pay cut to work in leading areas which will ensure employability in foreseeable future so professionals you have seen the truth behind these four issues which will help you to navigate your career better i hope you like this video to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you